work out, I thought we'd continue to explore a little bit about visual art, given the fact that I'm still getting used to this plugin, so I can't claim to have expert knowledge by any means, but uh, perhaps that's an advantage in that we can explore the simple basic elements of the program first and then move along from there. So normally I don't use visual art in my modelling, but I'm getting used to it now. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, build a wall and then we're going to look at just putting in some windows and what attributes we can get off that. So I'll just reset that for a moment. Okay, so we've got our wall command. What we'll do is we'll just go visual arc, wall from curve. Okay, which curve? A little one that I've made up there already. Press enter and it automatically makes our wall. Select our height, enter again to, to get our default height at 2.7 metres. Set it to shaded so we can see it. And there we go, as easy as that. So uh, our, we can have a single line and then a build our walls off that. By right clicking on the wall command just there, we can get different wall styles. So we can make a different wall. Let's say we'll call this one a 400 wide blockwork wall. 400W. Next, it, well, we only want it to be block work, so we'll make it the same on both sides. There we go. Its thickness this time will be 0.4. Next, okay, 2.7 high. Let's make it one meter high. It's just a garden wall. Next, okay, and our setbacks for reinforcement. And then we have our sample viewing windows, so you can sort of see we can set parameters for various walls. One thing I haven't figured out as yet, I'm sure someone will help me on this at some stage, is it doesn't seem to save the walls each time. So I can't, I seem to be having to make the walls in each new model. That's no major drama at this stage. Okay, so let's put in a small garden wall off that. This time we can select either our standard wall, 200 by 2700, or this time our 400 wide wall, and we'll just go in our plan view and we'll make a little garden wall out here. And another one just there. And that will do it. Enter. Okay. Let's shift that wall across a little bit. Okay. Shift the other one as well. I think it's on snap. Ah, there we go. That's why it's doing that. Okay, so let's have a look at our 3D model just quickly. So there's some basic walls. Let's pop in a few windows. So first, there's our window command just up there, and it's also on the pull down menu. Windows and window styles. It's similar to the walls command in those so much as left click creates the window. And this time we've got the parameters for that basic type of window where it's centered, the vertical alignment and the elevation. We'll make the elevation one. That's the, to the bottom of the sill height. Okay. And if we don't like that window position, we can slide it along to whatever location and you'll see it automatically patches the wall as required. Okay. We'll just copy that across. So we'll just go there. Cross, enter, and there we've got three windows. I'm not quite happy with that location. I'll move it across slightly. There we go. And there's our three windows. So let's say we want to make a different window, a circular window down this end. So just looking at our time there. Okay, right click on that on the window icon. We'll make a new style. So we'll call it round window, uh, 1500 Oop. die, just for reference, okay, it's going to be a hung window, next, I'm going to make it circular, so you can see we've got a selection of window forms there to work with, which can be all customised to suit, next, uh, standard size, well, I forget what I said, 1.5, did I? Um, we'll make it 0.75. Is our radius. 
Okay, next, our frame requirements. There's our stop requirements. Okay, we're only going to have a single leaf on this occasion, so it's just a fixed glass window. And there's our sill. I don't want a sill on this window. Next. Okay, and there's a window form in the preview window. Finish. So click OK. Now we'll select a window to put in. We'll put in that round 1500 window. It's a little bit too high, so I want to bring it down to 0.6. And there's a nice little window to put in. Okay, so we can also have a look at the attributes of that window clearly. So if we right click on that window again and we go to the pull down menu, it'll give us a summary of, so if we're modifying the window, it'll give us a summary of the various elements, the leaf, the glass size, what sort of material we're putting in there and it'll either go off the parent material or in this case we can allocate materials to it either in the native renderer or in the basic Rhino render material. So we'll just call it glass. Uh, edit. Just make it to a slightly orange colour. Okay. Changes transparency down to 90%. Okay, click OK. Now hopefully all should be good. So when we put in the next window, oh, there's no guarantees on this. I'll pop in that window. Okay. Now we're about to see if it really turned out right. Okay, so we'll just press render. Our rendering engine at the moment is Flamingo NXT, you can sort of see it switched on there. Okay, click the blue button to render. And there we go, placement of windows. So uh, what we've looked at, whoop, we haven't got every nut, bolt and screw worked out at this stage. What we covered in a brief five, six minutes is just stop that render. What we've covered in a brief five or six minutes is the wall command, how to make new wall styles, how to create those styles, then use that command to uh, build a wall. You can build that command off curves. You can extend and unextend a wall simply by uh, changing a projection off a surface. So do is we'll do it this way. Actually I don't have a, a mesh in there. We'll do it first. We'll put that mesh in first. So just a quick plane. Okay, and I'll just move that up to about yay high. Okay, and we're just to show how we can extend the wall. So what we'll do is visual arc wall extend. Okay, we'll select the walls to extend, that'll be these basic room walls. Press enter, and now we'll select the surface, and you can see it projects automatically to the surface, and if we move that surface to any location, the walls also automatically change as well. So that's probably a handy feature. Okay, and I'll just turn that off. And I think we'll leave it at that. Okay. Nice and simple. Okay, thanks everyone. Bye.